five tips to help you stay creative with marketing your products and services online. Hi guys, it's Sam Day here from daytips.com and in this video, I'm sharing five tips to help you stay creative with marketing your products and services online. Tip number one is to play to your strengths. Now, there's no point in you trying to write a song for your marketing if you don't really write songs and that's not one of your strengths. It's not gonna be a great song if it's the first song you've ever written and if you're not passionate about writing songs, then outsource that work. You know, there's so many different platforms online that you can use to outsource work. There's freelancer.com, there's fiverr.com, there's so many different others and you might even have friends or family members or not, there might be a, a service or someone who provides that service nearby to where you live. So, you know, play to your strengths. Whatever you're really, really good at, stick to that and that's gonna help you be more creative because you're interested and passionate about that certain thing. You know, if you're really, really good at drawing or graphic design, then and stick to that and leave everything else to other people but stick to your strengths and whatever's not your strength whatever you don't feel like you can be creative at in terms of marketing your products and service outsource that to someone else so my second tip to actually staying creative with marketing your products and services is actually to find out what's missing in your niche so you might have a niche where everyone is marketing on facebook and not so many people are actually doing youtube marketing or instagram marketing or you know marketing through the search engines effectively you know maybe they don't have you know correct seo done on their website or something like that and you might spot a gap in the market to actually you know promote your products and services in a way that other people who are com competing with you are not actually doing it so if you notice that there's a gap or there's something missing then that's an opportunity for you to be creative with your marketing and actually start marketing on platforms or in ways that your competitors are not yet doing Tip number three is to enjoy your marketing as well. Hopefully you are in a business or running a business and selling products and offering services that you are passionate about and that you know a lot about. And if you do this, this should help you to create marketing strategies that are a little bit out of the box. Now, for example, you might know that your potential client base that you want to reach are people who are a little bit quirky or people who are a little bit outgoing or people who, who meet a certain um, specification. Now, if you know that, you can make your marketing targeted towards those kinds of people. Tip number four is to always provide value even when you're marketing. People nowadays have ad blindness, you know, they don't want to see advertisements, they don't want to get, you know, phone calls from salespeople, they don't just, they just don't want to see it. So try and be more creative with your, um, with your marketing and with your advertisements, but actually adding value to the person who you're trying to market to. Now, depending on what type of business you're in will directly affect what type of value you offer someone. So for example, you might give them something for free in return for their name and their email address so you can build up the database for your company. So a few examples of things you can give away if you're a consultant or if you offer a service that's online that they can download, then you can maybe give them um, an example of your work. So maybe give them a free 30 minutes um, online seminar that they can download or consume online after providing their name and email address. Or if you sell a product, then you can maybe offer them 10% off or 20% off or two for one deal that they can only receive when they sign up to your email list. And it doesn't have to be an online thing as well. It could be a coupon, you know, that they print off and they come to your shop if you have an offline shop and they can use the coupon that they downloaded from your website to actually make a purchase and get, you know, some percentage off of the products that you provide. Tip number five is to learn the rules, but break the rules. Now, when you're thinking or talking about marketing as a general scope, there are general things that, you know, marketers will tell you what to do and how to do it to market your specific business. Now, I don't want you to block out what you hear from marketers because they know what they're doing, otherwise they wouldn't have the title of a marketer. I'm a marketer myself. But what I want you to do is actually take that information and not just kind of regurgitate it exactly how someone tells you to do it, but take that information and kind of look at it through the eyes of your business. You've been running your business for however long you've been running it. You're the expert in running your business and you're also the expert in marketing your business. So it's important for you to take the tips and advice that you learn from other marketers that you read on books or that you watch from YouTube videos like the one you're watching now or courses you may have been on, but make it bespoke. You know, whatever tips and advice that you get, 
make it bespoke specifically to your business so that it fits and it works well for the type of business that you're, you are running. So hopefully this video will help you to stay creative with your marketing and attract even more leads and sales to your business. Now, if this video did help you out, please click the like button down below and share it with a friend. If you have any additional questions or comments, then leave them for me in the comment section. But until next time, watch some of my other great videos, subscribe to my channel for more awesome content. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.